What's up, Anthony? First time on YouTube. <laughs> it's a well on mine. It always says there's one person, but all the comments are showing up. I know, don't. Well, you want me to get it? Yeah, let's get this. One second, guys. <laughs> Peace out, you guys, on Saturday. So I'm just going to answer some of your guys' questions. You guys know I'm out here in Denver. I started my camp with my coach last week, and um, so far, so good. You know, I've been making a lot of changes this past week. My physics, just from when I first got here till now, it's, it's changed a lot, and I'm just excited to, you know, see what's going to happen in the next eight weeks. So you guys got any questions, I just want to take this time to answer any of them. Yeah, a lot of different countries in here. This is cool to see you guys. Appreciate the support from all over the world. Am I running a push pull split? No, I'm not doing a push pull split right now. Um, I'm not training arms. I'm doing limited leg work. I'm focusing primarily just on back, shoulders, and chest. So I'm doing day one is chest, day two is usually back, day three is legs, day four is shoulders rest day, repeat, and I uh, will throw legs in once every 10 days or so. My current carb and protein intake right now, I'm taking in probably between 400, 375 to 425 carbs. Uh, my protein is probably is around 350. My fats are around like 80 or 90. Still around I think 3,800, 3,900 calories. I mean, I'm actually getting tighter. Um, I dropped down to like 193 in the morning, 198 at nighttime. But I experienced that weight drop like last week and now my weight's kind of plateauing out a little bit. So we'll probably be adjusting the diet again this week coming up. Let's see. The easiest way to get carbs in, you got to eat, man. There's no way of getting around eating. That's the biggest thing. I take carb, carbs in uh, intro workout. That's the only carb drink I drink throughout the day is during my workout. Um, yeah, Joven. Joven qualified for Olympia like two weeks ago. He won the Tokyo Pro. Um, I'm still coaching him. Uh, I'm going to continue coaching him through the Olympia. Um, he's going to be flying out and meeting me in Orlando like nine or ten days out. Um, he's got something else coming up before the Olympia. Uh, we haven't had it announced yet, but <clears throat> he won't be able to make it out here until like the week before Olympia. But yep, I'm going to stick my joke inside through it all. Like this is our whole, our whole plan was to, from the get-go, was to eventually share the Olympia stage. And we're finally going to make it happen this year. So it's been, it's been cool to see his progress. I was with him as an amateur and um, being able to coach him up through the amateurs to getting his pro card to winning pro shows to going to Olympia and now competing with him. It's just been a really cool journey. I hit the next collapse with Brandon. I've hit Brandon up. We might, we might get something coordinated. I know we both want to, 
but it's hard with him being in Florida and being in California. Did my pain subside in my triceps and my chest? Actually, it is feeling a little better. Um, I'm not getting that burning sensation, that stinging sensation through my chest, so I think the epidural might have worked on that. Um, I still have a lot of rotator cuff problems, and that's where I'm getting a lot of my pain. Um, my subscap is real locked up. Uh, my triceps are, I'm getting them worked on like two or three times a week out here. I got them peeled back today with some um, ART and some scraping, and um, they feel pretty good right now, so we'll see how they feel tomorrow. Yeah, did I stop training arms? I stopped training arms entirely. I haven't had an arm day in like six months. <clears throat> Have my triceps decreased in size? I don't know, probably, probably not. They, they're still pretty dominant. How do I shred on a diet like I'm at? Um, I got my metabolism revved up real high in my off season. Like I've been eating clean since April and you know, I got my calories up to like 5,400 and my body was able to metabolize it. And you get your body in that good of shape, your metabolism is that strong. You're not gonna have to diet down on as, as little carbohydrates or as little calories because your bar, body operates at a higher level. So I'm in a deficit with more food because I can handle it. Do you think, do I think I'll compete again next year? Um, yeah, I mean, more than likely, you know, it's just if I come in and bomb this Olympia and, I, and I, you know, I don't belong anymore, then obviously I'm not I'm gonna accept reality and I'll move on. But I don't think that's gonna be the case. I think, you know, I'm gonna be really competitive. You know, I, I, I still believe I can win, um, especially with eight weeks out and seeing how fast I'm transforming. Um, there's still, I still believe I can win. And that's what I'm going for. You know, obviously being in that top five is a huge accomplishment and that's something I definitely want to do. But, you know, I'm, I'm a champion, I'm a four-time champ. I'm the most winning champion in men's physique history. I'm not going to come up to a show and expect somebody to beat me. You know, I, I still believe I'm the best and, you know, I'm going to do everything I can to, to try and prove that. Um, so we'll see what happens in, in November. Any plans of visiting the Philippines? I'd love to. I'd love to bring my family out there. It's it, it'll probably happen. I'm not sure if it's going to happen next year or the year after, but it'll happen sooner than later. Oh, we got somebody from back home, Roseville. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Have I ever tried stem cell treatment? Uh, no, I haven't. You know, uh, something I've been thinking about a lot doing my off season. Um, I just got to figure out if that's the best route to get through it. You know, my back and spine is pretty bad. And uh, my dad is in his 60s now and has a lot of the same issues I do, but a lot worse. And he's having to go through a lot of operations to get himself feeling good. And I just, if that's the case, I'd rather get that done earlier so I can recover and handle it easier because it's been really hard on my dad. Don't me and Joven have the same pose routine. Yeah, Joven and I pose very similar. I taught him, so yeah, we have very similar posing styles. Um, yeah, I'm gonna change up my routine. Joven's adjusted his his posing to make it his own. He did it this super dope like transition to his back pose that nobody else has ever done before. Uh, if you guys go and watch his um, posing routine from Tokyo Pro, it's pretty dope. He like shoots both arms out to the side before he opens up his lats. It's it's pretty sick. He like rocks into it. It's cool. <clears throat> what do I anticipate my stage weight being? Uh, I'm hoping between like 186 and 188. I'm hoping not to drop any more, like five or six pounds from where I'm at. I'm going to continuously get bigger and rounder as I, as I get closer to the show. Like my weight isn't necessarily going to drop. Uh, I'll get leaner, but I'm also putting on size. I'm eating a lot of food, so I'm still growing. I'm still, you know, I'm still having enough nutrients to pack on some muscle. And um, that's kind of the game plan is I'm gonna get leaner and bigger and sharper as I get into the show. So hopefully 186 to 188 is like the goal. Do I ever think I'll work with Hani again? Probably not. You know, I, I just wanna, you know, try to re reestablish a friendship with him, that's all. 
I'm working really well with Wadi, and I think we have a really good game plan. And you know, he he's able to give me everything I need from a coach and and more. You know, I'm freaking living at his house right now. Like it says a lot. What's my last meal of the day? It is what's my, today I got to do. My last one is. 220 grams of ground beef and I think 200 grams of rice or 300 grams of potato. I'll probably do rice if, oh shit, you don't have chicken in the oven right now. How long, how long have I been on here? Because I have to flip the chicken at 20 minutes. Huh? Does it say? Sorry guys, I have chicken in the oven. Nothing's worse than overcooked chicken. It's going to ruin it. It's been 11 minutes. Okay. So in like three minutes, can you go up there and flip the chicken for me? Flip, and, flip and then, it. Yeah, and then put it back in. Yeah, it's got to go over like 20 more minutes. In three minutes, flip it? Yeah, thank you. Overcooked chicken sucks. Uh huh? Yeah, thank you. Sorry, guys. Food's, food's the most important thing right now. It's number one priority. <laughs> is Wadi Filipino too? I think he is. <laughs> Wadi, Wadi, um, he's a, he's got a crazy story, you guys. I and mean, we'll tell it. I, I'm gonna try and get him to tell it one of these days because he's got this this craziest, wildest upbringing and everything. He's actually adopted, and um, he doesn't know what he is. But I think he looks Filipino. Am I worried about being too big for the class? I don't think so. No, not at all. Let's grab some Middle Eastern food while you're in Colorado. I'd love to, man. Maybe, maybe after Olympia. <laughs> Let's see. Why the comeback? Um, it's a good question, you know. Um, there's a lot of reasons. Uh, the biggest reason is, you know, I put my, dedicated all of my 20s, even the end of my teen years of bodybuilding. And I accomplished a lot. And after my last win, I kind of threw everything away by being an idiot and doing dumb things and you know making a fool of myself. And that's not really the, the stamp I wanted to leave on the industry when, to leave. So you know I kind of wanted to come back and prove you know, to myself that I, I'm more than what I have shown in the past. And um, that's one of the biggest reasons, you know, and I still, I still know I have a lot more to, to show, you know, I haven't reached my potential in, in this sport and you guys will see this year, I'm going to be a lot better. I don't even feel like I've ever came in on stage a hundred percent with my peaking correctly or having the best conditioning. I always felt like I was a little bit off. Even in 2017, when I got the perfect score, I could have still been better. Thoughts on my missing lower back. Uh, it's, uh, it's not missing at all. <laughs> I'm bringing it up. You know, I've dealt with lower back injuries, you know, the past six months. So it, it ha it's not as good as it has been, but I got plenty of time. My lower back's feeling better. It's getting better week to week. It'll be sharp come Olympia. I'm not worried about that. Let's see. Do I think my tattoos will affect the judging? I don't I don't think so. All the guys are pretty tattered up now. And most of my posing I'm, I'm this arm's on the back side anyways. Let's see here. There's a lot of hype surrounding this Olympia. What are you doing to maintain your mental and silence the noise? Um, I mean, it, it, it is a big Olympia, you know, but you know, I have I've done this before. Like, it's not anything new to me. Um, I'm used to the noise. I'm used to it. I handle it a lot better than I handled in the past. You know, I, I've had more eyes on me than than in all, all these guys in in a good light and in a negative light and um you know i just i'm ready for whatever i can handle it especially now that i've been through it i've, I've gotten older i've matured 
you know, I, the pressure I can handle. For what am I doing? You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm keeping my eyes focused on what's in front of me, and I'm keeping my trust in God, and I'm, you know, just trying to understand the journey more so than, you know, the outcome. You know, I got to focus on the journey and, and making the most of it, and being my best day to day, and taking it day by day. You know, that's all I can control is is what I do, and I can't control it, what any other guys do. All I can do is do my absolute best. And if those guys aren't performing at their absolute best every single day like I am, then they're gonna get beat. Am I gonna be away from my family for the entire nine weeks? No, I'm gonna go back home from time to time for a few days. It's only like a, what, two hour, two and a half hour flight? Yeah, that's right. It's a two and a half hour flight. So I'm actually not, Tomorrow, but the following Friday, I'm going to fly back home for a few days. Wadi's going out of town, and then I'll come back here probably for like three weeks and then go home. And then, yeah, we won't be over here before you know it. How do I keep myself motivated? By trying to be better to myself every single day. That's probably the biggest thing is just, you know, I, lo I lack a lot of self-discipline the past few years. And, you know, I struggled to get myself on track. And, you know, this prep was about proving that I'm still capable of doing those things. And, you know, I knew I had a lot of obstacles to overcome and that's what I'm still doing. I still have obstacles I'm overcoming during this prep. There's still things I'm learning and searching for. And I'm not willing to give up on this prep because I'm waiting for all those things. And, I'm, and, you know, I'm no matter how much pain I'm going through or dealing with or wanting to quit, like I'm, there's not going to be a quit because I'm, I know there's still more in front of me that I'm going to benefit from. So that's why I'm just looking for all those things right now. Olympia merch. I'm working on my merchandise, you guys. I know I gotta get some out for you. Oh, Joe, what's up, man? We just got done talking about you. A little late to the party, bud. <laughs> what's up, brother? Is that Jerry? How many people we have? I, I know a lot of these people. Six. No, I know a lot of these people personally. Should you take creatine in a cut? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can. Just gotta make sure you drink drink a lot of water. Favorite place to eat in Roseville? In and Out Burger. <laughs> <laughs> Not the answer they were um, expecting. <laughs> I don't know. We don't have to eat very much. We go to Yard House. I love, my daughter likes the Yard House because of the music. <laughs> No, I'm not doing any warm-up show before Olympia. I don't need a warm-up show. I'm gonna, I do Olympias. I've only done Olympias since 2013. I don't. Favorite Filipino word? Putang inamo. <laughs> Joe and Mrs. in and out burger. <laughs> Oh, I don't think they have them in Florida, bro. I don't think they have In-N-Out in Florida. No. That sucks. You're not going to eat In-N-Out unless you come back and hang out at the Cali. Muhammad, you speak Tagalog, but what the hell? <laughs> he's over here typing Tagalog and he's <laughs> listening to Dubai. <laughs> Am I planning on, yeah, I'm planning on competing next year, yeah. <laughs> You've matured so much, I should go back and watch Perfect Physique, yeah. I was, I, it makes me feel uncomfortable when I watch that, that movie back over. I was like, what, 23 years old when I shot that? The stupid haircut on. <laughs>
They have In-N-Out in Colorado now. I went there yesterday. Yes, they do. Pretty I found cool. out that you guys have only had it for two years, and I was like, that's, that's sad. I've had it my whole life. I feel bad, I feel bad for you guys. Will you make a cinematic video after competition? So I actually got hit up about something today, so I can't really talk about it, but if it comes to uh, fruition, then you'll see. It'll be pretty dope, because I'm pretty excited to hear about what I heard today. Everybody's asking me, Ishmael Martinez. Yeah, I'm down. I just, he hit me up a few weeks ago when his videographer did. But he's in like crazy good shape right now, and I was not in shape a few weeks ago, so I didn't want to shoot with him. <laughs> Current weight right now, probably at this exact moment, probably like 196, 197 maybe. Has a criteria changed since criteria changed since last time I competed? Yes, it has, in a lot of ways. <laughs> My physique last time won't cut it, so expect something much different. How can you manage to still coach Joe on peak with while you're competing? I don't know. We're gonna find out. <laughs> He'll be. We're gonna be staying together. We got an Airbnb, so we'll be staying together. So, me and Joe can get along really well. He's real. He's real. Real chilled guy. Even on peak week, he's pretty chill. Me. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm trying. Gonna try and be chill this year. <laughs> I've been chill up to this point. <laughs> Bro, the chicken. Check the chicken. Did you set out a timer? No. How time did you put it in? Eight twenty-three. All right. So eight, like eight forty, probably pull it out. Did it start changing color already? Yeah. It's like All right. Am I concerned with the judges wanting arms down size? I mean, I, I think it, my phys, I mean, it adds to my physique. You know, I think that's one of my strengths in my arms. I don't think they're too big, but I can understand their point of view. Um, I'm not training them, so either I'm not. There's nothing I can else, nothing else I can do to make them smaller. Jovan's got big ass arms. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Jovan doesn't train his arms either. I wonder whose arms are bigger now. Jovan's arms were bigger than mine when he was out here last time, but I don't know, Jovan. Oh, that's the wrong arm, this one. I don't know, Jovan. I might have bigger arms than you know. No, I got some board shorts coming. You guys will see. This guy asking you about liver questions, you need to go to a doctor, brother. If you ask, you need to ask a doctor, especially about what you're talking about right now. You don't don't mess around with your liver. Go get it checked out. I'm not the guy to ask. Izzy versus Strickland, who wins? I want Strickland to knock him out, but I I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm excited to watch that card though. What are the size of your arms? I don't know. We'll measure my arms soon. I don't have a tape measure. Favorite body part to train? When I'm healthy, my shoulders probably. Back, then chest, then legs. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> I like to train legs when they're when I feel good. But my hips and everything, and I hurt my adductor in April, so that has been the limited and they don't want me pushing my legs too hard. Do I play any games on my free time? No, I'm not a gamer at all. Any plans for a second child? Yeah, my wife and I actually want to try for a, 
another child after Olympia, that's the plan. So, God willing, we want to have, we want to have like two more kids. Should Wadi coach Joven in three weeks out? He'll be there. He can be healthy to help us out. Me and Joven's bodies are very similar. Like the way we diet, the way I diet him down is very similar to the way I diet down. Even it comes down, we're like really close in size too. So, you know, our portions are pretty much really similar. You know, when I, when I was, I just compared our diets 10 weeks out from what I wrote him up for his last prep and what Wadi wrote me. And uh, we compared them, and they're they're pretty damn close, almost identical. I have a son in a month. Any tips for a first-time father? Yeah, love your child more than anything. Put them first. Prioritize them. Your kid never comes second. It's number one. So keep that in mind. I know a lot of people who have kids and, you know, they'll, they still go out on the weekends, every, every weekend, you know, drop the kids off somewhere. And, you know, it's spend every moment you can with them when they're little because they grow up super fast. My daughter's already two and a half. You know, she's been able to have like conversations with her now. It goes by super quick. And I'm just, I don't know. It's crazy how fast it goes by. You want to keep them little forever. Is this my last Olympia? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Who do I have for the top five at Olympia? Uh, I mean, Aaron, Brandon, me, Diogo, that's four. At fifth spot, Ryan, Terry, maybe, or Charjo can slip in there. Um, Andre Ferguson looks good. Andre's always a threat. There's a bunch of new guys, too. Any of it's, it's open, you know? How can I get shredded while I drink beer? You, you, you can't. <laughs> Not going to happen. Can't work in a beer, <laughs> Yeah, I play sports in high school. Yeah, I played baseball and football, and I wrestled uh, my sophomore year. That's how I hurt my neck was from football. Why stair monster and not incline? Because you're forced to work harder on a stair climber. That's, that's the, the main reason. You can't get lazy on a stair climber. Or Andre and I still be family. Past the past is whatever, man. I mean, still don't appreciate what he said, but no worry fighting over it anymore. I already talked about you being that top five, Joven. He shows it, don't forget about me. <laughs> Yeah, no, Joven definitely. If Joven, if Joven comes in as absolute best, he can very well beat me. Next YouTube video. When's that one? Tomorrow? Tomorrow, leg like day. Tomorrow is the leg day video. That was a good training session. I haven't hit legs too hard recently, and we got a good one in. I was having a rough few days out here. The first couple sessions, I wasn't feeling good. My shoulders were bothering me. My back was bothering me, and that leg workout was the first good leg workout I had, and that kind of kick-started the week. How much caffeine do I usually have? Not very much. I drink, like, a Celsius energy, energy drink in the morning, and then my pre-workout, that's it.
how many weeks out will I drop my carbs and how low will I go? I don't, we don't know. It just depends on my body responds. I'll probably drop my carbs a little bit next week to tighten up some more. But like I said, we got plenty of time. I'm in a good spot. Like you guys see like Brandon and Aaron shredded right now, which is great. Like they look fantastic, but they don't gotta be that lean right now. Like I'll be that, I'll be just as lean as them come show day. And I'm gonna be able to preserve more size because I have more body fat I'm working with, more calories I'm working with. Damn, the question's coming in quick. What time is it? Eight twenty nine. Twenty nine. Oh, I flip. That means I flipped the chicken at eight thirteen. It's ten minutes ahead. Eight thirteen. Yeah. Might be done. Check check. Yeah. How do I know if it's done? <laughs> Cut into it. <laughs> Cut one up in the middle and see if it's pink. It's not. It's done. Do I have a skincare routine? No. Soap, water. I've been lucky. I've, I've, I've always had pretty good skin. Next tattoo idea, I'm going to get tattoos removed. That's my next idea. Do I regret my tattoos? Some of them I do, yeah, actually. I would, if I knew I was competing again, I wouldn't have gotten my sleeve. Like, I got my sleeve because I was like, bodybuilding's done. You know, obviously it's not going to help me on stage, but I don't think it'll hurt me too much. <laughs> what will be my first big cheap meal post show? Probably pizza. Because I I don't eat pizza on for refeed meals, so I don't really I don't eat pizza all prep. Stay away from like a lot of dairy and cheese too. So that's what I crave the most is bread and bread and cheese. Keeping the helix at least. No, I'm gonna I want to get all my neck tattoos removed. I'm gonna finish up the champ one. Get the cross tally take a picture of it and go back the next day and start removing all my tattoos. I want to get my neck and my hand removed. Do I think Brandon got robbed? No, I don't think he got robbed. I think Aaron looked, looked the part, but I don't necessarily think Brandon should have lost. How to fix tight muscles, stretch, stretch, stretch. Nobody stretches enough, so stretch more. Worst injury I had, the uh, pec tear. That's good. Sorry, is it done? Yeah, it's been 18 minutes since I flipped it. Did you cut it in one of them? It's cooked. Actually, yeah, it was good. Chicken is okay, you guys. It is cooked perfectly and out of the oven. Appreciate everybody's concern. <laughs> How many people are right now? Uh, there's 230. Good. With everything, everyone getting as big as they are, do you think Ebanks look is actually a new standard for men's physique? I hope not. We'll see. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I was a standard for, you know, four or five years. So, you know, if I come back with a, a, a bigger, improved shape, you know, is it going to be too muscular? I will see. But you guys know my shape is hard to beat. And it's going to be just accentuated more because I'm going to be bigger and rounder everywhere else. My waist is going to be just as tight, if not tighter.
Anthony, I'll, I'll have the, I'll get the pizza, bro. If you want to bring me some cookies or something after at the Olympia, you're more than welcome to do that. Chocolate chip or snickerdoodle. That is my go-to. I saw you at the gym, but I didn't come up to you because you looked focused. Well, I appreciate you not interrupting the workout, but you're welcome to come say what's up to me in between sets. That's fine. Do I regret leaving Minnesota Zeke after Olympia? No, I don't regret anything. I had to go through a lot of growing pains to get back to this point. How many more years do I see myself competing and would I ever try classic? I, I probably see myself competing a few more years. So like I'll probably compete and then physique one or two more years. And then my last year competing, maybe I'll just jump to classic for fun and do a couple of shows. Just for shits and giggles, with no expectations, just for the absolute fun and love of the sport of bodybuilding. Start out as a bodybuilder, I'd love to pose. It'd be cool to be able to do that as a pro. If Guzman asks you to be his coach, will you accept it? I mean, if he's working with Toplin and they're doing a great job, I mean, if he wanted me to help him, I'd help him. But. He's got it figured out. Is it true at the moment all the Olympia judges don't like you? <laughs> I don't think so. I saw a lot of them recently and they're all very happy to see me. <laughs> so. Do I eat steak during my prep? Yes, I, I'm eating red meat twice a day right now. And I'm still eating carbs in every meal. Is my trainer Filipino? I think so. <laughs> someone's asking you know, is this gonna be your last Olympic because of the weight limit and it depends on what the weight limit is to be honest um, it's gonna be tough like I don't want to lose size necessarily like I don't want to lose my legs like just for my own my own personal wants and desires like I don't like walking around with little legs I don't feel good about it so I don't know if I'm willing to say if I have to drop too low in weight, like completely sacrifice my legs to do that. I'm not sure if it's worth it. My whole body feels better when I train legs. Like my lower back feels better. Everything feels better. I feel more stable, my core stronger. Do I ever have dirty food on show day? Uh, it's more so like a last resort if you're not come out filling up on like my regular food. The Buendia Diet Cookbook. <laughs> I don't have enough recipes for that. <laughs> Put barbecue sauce on chicken. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you take when you're on prep, you take away like all the pleasure of eating. You just eat because it's fuel. Like every meal, no, none of my meals are, like enjoyable. I just eat it because I have to. How confident, I guess, how this kid keeps asking, answered earlier. How confident am I about this Olympia? I'm, I'm, I'm getting confident every week, more and more confident. I'm going to continue to get more confident the better I get. You know, it's going to be a tough show. I'm very well aware of that. Um, to win, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be difficult. You know, the chances of winning, you know, are going to be determined on, you know, how I look going into the show that day. And when nobody knows what that's going to look like. I'm just going to kick. And all I know is it's going to keep getting better and better from this point on.
which is going to give me a pretty good shot. No one's going to out diet me or train out train me or out do you know outwork me in anything. No one's doing more than I am. So we'll see. Yeah, I hope the lighting's good at Olympia this year too. I'm sure it will be. <laughs> if you had to choose between doing a workout entirely in slow motion or having to wear a banana costume to the gym for a week, which one would you pick and why? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that on Halloween. <laughs> Whole workout in slow motion. I mean, I, I'd probably do the workout in slow motion. It's time under tension, right? Like, you could do a whole workout in time under tension in slow motion. That's why it's so productive. That's why. That's my. That's my why. A banana costume, and I'm just gonna look like an asshole for a week. <laughs> Sadiq is no longer relevant, has not won in a while. That doesn't matter. Sadiq has established himself a long time ago. Like the dude doesn't need to compete anymore. He's built his he's built his brand. He's he's made his money. He's making his money. You know, he's has a family. He's he's trust me, Sadiq's doing just fine. Oh, someone's asking about the, the reality movie we did. That the, after my first Olympia, we filmed the Perfect Physique. It was on Netflix a couple years ago, but you guys can find it on YouTube now. Remember, I was twenty three. I was like ten years ago, <laughs> just a child. Let me answer a couple more because I got to go eat. I'm hungry. Yeah, well, Wadi and I be coaching Joven. No, I'm going to be coaching Joven, and if I, if I need any help, Wadi will be there to help. I appreciate, I appreciate that, Kerwin. No, it was nice to meet you out there, too, and this year is going to be even more special, so I'm excited. We're going to have a lot of fun out there. <laughs> Are you, like, right behind me, Norma? <laughs> She's, I'm watching this on the stair climber. The stair climber is, uh, is back there. <laughs> I'm going to come back there and put you on live. <laughs> Joe been training with you before Mr. Olympia. He's going to come out, like I said, uh, like eight or nine days before. He's going to meet me in Orlando. We got something else coming up for Joe before Olympia. Am I planning on branding my own things back in the Philippines? I don't, I don't have any plans. If I end up doing anything in the Philippines, I'll. I'd probably do it with Joven. <laughs> How often do you poop eating so many meals? <laughs> Just one really big one in the morning. <laughs> nah, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Do I think Joven will outwork you? I'd say, yeah, Joven trains freaking hard too. If anybody, if anybody is like an outwork me, Joven would outwork me. But I'm put. I know I saw Joe how Joven preps last year and 100 percent discipline, and that's why I'm I'm working as hard as I can right now too. I ain't gonna let Joven beat me that easily. Yes, Joven. We want to. We got to come. So we got to come out there. I would love to go to Bordecai or Cebu again.
best carb load meal of peak week. I've given Jovo and Ado chicken adobo and rice and eggs before, and that worked really well. Forgot what I think that was before Thailand. All right, a couple more questions, you guys. Let me get upstairs and eat. My body fat percentage right now, I have no idea. Like eight or nine. Holy shit, Richard Miranda. How many Gatorades a week did you drink in elementary school at Franklin? I did drink a lot of Gatorade, didn't I? I always had a, my mom bought them from Costco. I always had these big 32 ounce Gatorades every day. 32 ounces? Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. I haven't seen Richard since like freshman year. That's crazy. Hope you're doing good, dude. My next meal is going to be, actually it's ground beef, the chicken I cook for tomorrow. It's ground beef and rice or potato. I don't think I have any potatoes made, so it's probably going to be rice tonight. more of these. I'll, we can do more of these. We had a pretty good turnout. I'd like to see a thousand of you guys on here at one time. But we got up to like 250. I appreciate that. Alright you guys. Appreciate everybody coming on. We can do more of these. I'm going to keep you guys posted. Make sure you're following all my YouTube. We'll be putting videos up for you guys almost every other day. So I um, hope you guys are enjoying them. Please comment on them. Repost them on your social medias. And um, yeah, appreciate all your support. We'll continue working hard. And let's get that fifth title. See you guys later.